When Putin's around, GPS goes haywire, study finds. Here's a summary of the article. The incident is one of many highlighted in a new report that found the Kremlin spoofed global positioning systems, or GPS, to effectively place a bubble around Putin or properties associated with him. The researchers, with a non-profit called C4ADS and the University of Texas at Austin, used public marine GPS databases, as well as a GPS monitoring device on the International Space Station to track similar instances. The year-long study identified a pattern in which GPS devices near Putin and his entourage suddenly gave incorrect readings. The researchers theorize that one reason spoofing is deployed is to protect Putin and other Russian officials from attacks or surveillance by drones that rely on GPS. The purpose of this spoofing activity was likely to prevent unauthorized civilian drone activity as a VIP protection measure, they wrote in the study. There's a drawback to creating a GPS bubble around a world leader, said Todd Humphreys, an engineering professor at the University of Texas at Austin, who was involved with the study. Humphreys said a similar tactic in Syria could affect airplanes, which require functioning GPS to stay out of harm's way. The researchers identified Russian equipment in Syria emitting what Humphreys described as a whole different signal, one that was much much stronger, but not spoofing. The signal appeared to be jamming airplane GPS units, effectively rendering their navigation systems inoperable. This post received a score of 18,883, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Greater than, what's ironic is if you look at these patterns, and if you coordinate it with the movements of the leader of Russia, it appears you have a Putin detector, exactly what I thought, it creates a phenomena that essentially acts as a Putin signature. Takes away the accuracy though. You don't need to be too accurate so long as you have enough explosives and a complete disregard for civilian life. Oi McVeigh. Oof, the level's here. Dark and on point. Greater than dark and on point. More like white and sort of on point. Or white and full of fertilizer. Just full of shit, really. In a van, but not down by the river. Whose debris is now down by the river? Greater than the researchers theorize that one reason spoofing is deployed is to protect Putin and other Russian officials from attacks or surveillance by drones that rely on GPS. And hash X200B. If I was out in the open, I'd be paranoid about drones too. Motherf. That is an ISIS video by the way. The targets below are probably Iraqi army. They have an Abrams tank. ISIS had Abrams after the initial moments of the Iraq invasion. The Iraqi army essentially abandoned everything. You are right, but this video in fact ISIS targeting the Iraqi army. Greater than, what's ironic is if you look at these patterns, and if you coordinate it with the movements of the leader of Russia, it appears you have a Putin detector, it's like the time the Joker kidnapped Superman's friends and hid them in lead coffins. Superman found them within minutes because since he can't see through lead with his X-ray vision, he saw the coffins quite clearly. John Byrne. Man of Steel. Now I'm not a DC guy at all, but to me I feel like the Joker starting shit with soups is just poor threat assessment. I mean the whole Injustice plotline starts with Joker tricking Superman into killing Lois Lane, for which Superman brutally murders him. Soup. That's what I mean, poor threat assessment. Bats doesn't usually have a girlfriend to punch. Soups did, does and went ballistic when Joker went there. Jokers sometimes depicted as suicidal or completely willing to be a martyr for his cause if it will drive the hero to insanity. He doesn't define victory like a normal person. An insane Superman did far more damage to the world than the Joker ever could alone. In the end, it's circular, because if he has no discernible means of harming Bat's closest, get his best friend. I want to say he didn't intend to die by either of them, but he also deadman switched to nuke. Greater than I want to say he didn't intend to die. He didn't intend to live either. His own life doesn't usually factor much into his grand schemes. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.